You know that in Australia, the Aborigines, they have caves. And there are certain caves that are absolutely forbidden to go in because these caves are transport caves. If you go in, there are two possibilities. Possibility number one, you are not strong enough, then you are dead immediately. Possibility number two, you will come out in another cave, thousand kilometers far away. These are transport caves. These caves have something to do with time, with time traveling. But the tricky business is you never know before whether you are strong enough to do that or not. You will know it if you go in. But you could pay it with your life. This is a very interesting allegory, if you want. Because time is putting things in an order. First, later, later. It's a mathematical system. It's counting. And I'm absolutely sure that this counting is absolutely bound to human existence. This counting is a human thinking thing.
Let's, let's, let's put it like that. Um, if, if Roland is, is making a picture of something, um, he makes always a picture of something what disappears. Sibak home was really uh, invented here in Mali. In 1973, we have the first uh, production, and this product uh, died, or we this uh, Ilford decided to stop with the production of Ilford Chrome in 2013. So the product life was more or less 40 years, 20 years with Siba Chrome name and 20 years with Ilford Chrome name. For Roland, he used uh, uh, CPS 1K, so a Siba Chrome print, so it's silver uh, high light uh, crystal. And the light coming from, uh, from the sun, coming from outside, is stored on the silver grain. And then we have to develop bleach and fix it. But it's really physically, we have a capture of time. It can be 30 seconds, it can be one hour, one day, but we really, we really uh, can uh, capture light and time. Time is effectively, it's the amount of light coming onto the material. So if the exposure time is 30 seconds, you put 30 seconds of light onto your silver grain. <laughs> 